future there, Tom? Yes. Just not the near future, but in our future, absolutely. There's gonna be snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll talk about seven day forecast. There is some precipitation, but in the seven day, it's gonna be rain, unfortunately. But the future, yeah, there'll be snow. Now from CBS 6, the Weather Authority, meteorologist Tom Patton. All right, you know, the snow camp is divided into uh, usually two camps. One camp says, bring on more. I want more snow, bring as much as you can bring. Well, I can't bring any. And the other camp's like, all right, I've seen it, I'm good. Let's go to spring. <laughs> I'm in one of those two camps, but I won't say. All righty, you got some drizzle. You've got a few remaining flurries, and that is about it. We're kind of on our last little gasp here of this system. But uh, I'll tell you what, we love our drizzle, and flurries are generally the snow form of drizzle, and that's kind of what we're seeing now. And that's sort of moving right through the metro. That's now, you can see from around downtown to Chester, parts of Chesterfield County. And that extends up through Hanover, the Aylet area of King William, and right up to parts of Essex and King and Queen counties. Still some flurries or a little snow shower up there. It looks just a touch heavier up there at this point. But that is about it. We may see this continuing, especially the drizzle. We love our drizzle, especially as temperatures kind of warm a few more degrees yet today. We may see some more patchy drizzle on and off, but the skies really won't start to clear probably until later today and overnight tonight is when we're gonna see most of the clearing. This system is now offshore and it's pushing away from us. It's gonna take that rain with it. And as you can see, nothing major moving in our direction. But if you do look back to the west, right through Ohio and West Virginia, there's still a pretty good cloud cover. There's a little thinning trying to take place near the Blue Ridge. So there may be a couple of bright spots out of that that we can expect in some areas. Current temperatures 33 degrees. All night we were above freezing. Today we dropped to 32 for a few hours. Now we're back up to 33. That's why everything's about melted. This mulch was almost covered earlier today, but now it's just a couple little patchy areas of snow. And you can hear things sort of dripping here and there as well. Uh, I still think we may be able to hit that 40 today. I'm sticking with it. Winds out of the north, a little bit breezy, up to 15 miles per hour. A few flurries and drizzle kind of lingering yet. Clearing late tonight, it's gonna be a cold night. Tonight we'll drop to 27, so I'm gonna be pretty chilly out here tomorrow morning. Here's the hour by hour forecast. Look up to the north and back to the west. A little clearing tries to happen there as those showers and drizzle kind of linger in some areas. And then we get to about evening hours and then overnight, and then we'll start to see more grand scale clearing through the overnight hour. So a little bit of clearing at times later today then overnight everybody starts to clear out. And that's gonna to lead to a pretty nice day tomorrow. There'll be some patchy high clouds here and there, but I think we are mostly sunny tomorrow. Let's go ahead, way ahead. This is Wednesday. Skies become partly sunny Wednesday. I wanna show you our next chance for rain. Thursday, lots of sun. Friday, lots of sun. Saturday, we'll see an increase in clouds and a few showers Saturday and then Saturday night into Sunday is when we'll start to see another pretty decent round of rain coming through the system. And at this point, this is beyond the seven day, this is eight to 14 days. I'm not sure if I buy into this yet, to be honest with you, but it's suggesting that beyond our seven day forecast, temperatures will be a bit above average. But above average could just mean the mid to upper 50s at this point. 40 today, 45 tomorrow, 50 on Wednesday, and we are above average for the weekend at least, 59 Friday, 62 Saturday, and there's that rain as we head from late Saturday into Sunday. Rob, back to you. Tom, you're the man, thank you.